Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. So we're checking out the Tier 4 Viper ACR. Alright, we're going to do a Stage 5 and a Stage 6 shift pattern and tune for this car. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the Stage 6. And then at the end of the video, we're going to do a review on it. Talk about what it's good for. Let you know if it's good for live racing and stuff like that. So let's go check out the Stage 6 uh tune guys and then we'll go do a shift pattern for it so if your car is 100 percent maxed out with all the stage six and all the fusions this is how you want to tune it and big thank you to nitro for csr for letting me use your account with all these maxed out cars we're going to use his for the stage uh six version then we'll switch back to my account link to his youtube channel on this video's description so that's how you want to tune this one right there all right if you got it maxed out the crazy thing about this is we have really low EVO points right now. It's at plus 44. I would have tuned this very differently, but I went over to the Zoo Cars channel and I, I've copied his tune because I had, a, I had a much higher EVO point tune, but his is a lower EVO but runs way faster. So that's why it's only got 44. Weird car, guys. Weird car already. But to drive this guy, what you're going to do is let go of the gas right at number one to launch. A split second after you launch, you're going to hit your nitrous, all right? And try and get all perfect shifts after that. This car will run 11793 if you get a perfect run. All right, so let's go do it to it. Three, two, one, go. Nitrous, second, third, fourth, fifth. And that's all she wrote. That's all we got to do to drive this thing. World record time is pretty fast, guys. It's like 11.793. Let's see what we ran there. We got an 11.9. So we're running about a tenth of a second off of the world record time. Hitting world record times is crazy hard to do. I'm not really sure how most of those guys do the world record times, but that's how you drive it. So let's go ahead and switch back to my account and we'll show you the tune for uh, the tune I came up with for stage five. After going to Zucar's channel and seeing his tune and noticing he's only on 44 Evo, hopefully the tune I'm going to show you for stage five is right, but this is what I came up with. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you the stage five tune. So this is stage five with all of the fusion parts installed. All right. So what we're going to do is set our nitrous to this position here. This is where you're going to put your final drive. Now you might be able to tweak this and get a faster time. As you notice, we have plus 543 and on stage six, we were only at plus 44. So you might be able to adjust this transmission or the tires or something. But uh, this is the fastest I've figured out how to make it on stage five. So we're going to go ahead and drive this car the exact same way. So I'm going to show you the shift pattern again, and then we'll go go then we're going to go do a review on this thing, which I don't think is going to be a very good review. So anyways, here we go with the stage 5 shift pattern. 3 2 1 go. Nitrous, second, third, fourth, fifth, right? That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. I try to tune it so it runs out in fifth gear, you know, right before the red line. I could probably move the I could probably move the transmission slider a little bit more to the right and make it run a little faster. There we got a 13.712 with a dyno time of a 13.748. So trying to get this car to beat dyno is very hard, guys. Alright, so let's go do a review on this thing. Let's go do a review on this thing. All right, so my review is not a great car. It's a low Evo car. It's kind of slow. The acceleration is not great. The top speed's not very good. It's a five-star tier car, tier four car that's just really not that great. Don't upgrade this thing unless you absolutely need it for some sort of event. It is not a good car. It's not going to do well at live racing. It's really not going to do well at anything. All right, so the top speed is, what, 210 miles per hour maxed out you might be able to tune it to get a little past that um zero to 60 and 1.099 so that's not too bad all right zero to 102.0 but 
but this is definitely not going to beat Tempest. I would not use this car to try and beat Tempest, okay? It's just kind of an overall so-so car. Nothing good about it except for it looks really nice. All right, five stars does not necessarily mean good. That just means the amount of stars means it the rarer the car. So this is a rare car, all right? Five stars does not mean fast. Like a lot of people think, five stars just means rare car, okay? There's a lot of five star cars out there that are junk, and this is basically one of them. So that's my opinion on this car, guys. Don't upgrade this unless you absolutely need it. The only reason I upgraded this thing is I needed to do the Prestige Cup. As I'm making this video, this is currently the Prestige Cup car this season. So, hey, I'm stuck with upgrading a turd, all right? Turd taco car. That's right turd tacos so anyways i think that pretty much wraps this video up guys please remember to like subscribe hit that little bell set those notifications to all that way you don't miss any good videos or anything like that and we will catch you next time all right thanks for watching lightning out